Every exhibition offers add-ons to your show stand. They usually carry premium prices and offer varied success, depending on what your objectives are. What we'll look at in this episode is how valuable each of the most common sponsorship opportunities really is. Every exhibition has slightly different offerings, so we won't cover them all, but these ones are the most common. First, hanging banners from the roof. There is something very ego-building about seeing your logo on a huge banner towering over the competition. But wait, FaceTime's eye-tracking research shows that these banners don't get much eye share. Why? Because when people are walking around a show floor, they're not looking up. They're looking left to right, from stand to stand, and not craning their head upwards to spot something in the distance. If you're looking for brand response, banners aren't a good investment. However, if you're looking to provide an overall impression of market dominance, consider investing in them. It can make your competitors nervous and perhaps even help you poach some of their staff. It is a competitive branding opportunity, but not a traffic driver. Next, floor tiles. These are the squares on the floor that feature your logo and directions to your stand. These are amongst the most powerful of any signage on the show floor. Why? The carpet at the show is usually one coloured and people don't notice it. However, in their peripheral vision, they notice a change in colour where the floor tile is and interpret it as a tripping hazard. They look down and see your logo. Floor tiles are usually much less expensive than hanging banners and, when designed well, provide visual stimulus that will direct people to your stand. Badge sponsorship can be a huge brand awareness booster. Think about it like this. Before AIG sponsored Manchester United, had you ever heard of them? Now AIG is one of the best known brands in the world. Badge sponsorship follows a similar logic. If you're actively trying to grow your market share and position, consider investing in getting your logo on the visitor badge. It's something everyone will see and will give you more guaranteed eye share than nearly anything else. Lanyards are similar. Although be careful, they can get twisted and obscure your logo. If you decide to sponsor lanyards, make sure your designers ensure that your logo is visible under all circumstances. For example, if it gets twisted or turned inside out and so on. Print advertising in the show guide can be hugely effective, depending on where your ad is and what its intention is. The inside covers and back cover remain the most effective placements closely followed by the page adjacent to the floor plan and then by the index of exhibitors. Try not to get page ads next to the long exhibitor listings as they get viewed much less than the functional content. Most shows will have a strong online presence and will offer a number of sponsorship options. The majority of them are banner ads on the website leading up to the show. Stay away from these unless you tie it to a specific offer. For example, a coupon for a free glass of champagne. People usually visit the website to register or check the date and venue, so commercial display ads will not get very much eye share or many clicks. Two of the most effective online sponsorship opportunities are sponsoring the registration confirmation email and also the post-event survey email. Why? These are two emails that get a near to a 100% open rate. This will make sure that as many people view your brand images as possible, maximizing your ROI. Sponsorship can be an excellent way to increase your brand presence at the show and drive traffic to your stand. However, be warned, the majority of sponsorship opportunities are limited, so you need to book them soon after booking your stand to ensure you have exclusivity. 